bosom. My little girl, Rhoda. What about her? She terrifies me. I'm afraid for her. I'm afraid of what she may have inherited from me. What could she have inherited? Father. Daddy. Whose child am I? Mine. Daddy dear, don't lie to me. It's gone beyond where that will help. I've told you about a dream I have, but I'm not sure it's all a dream. Whose child am I? Are you my father? This is a strange question to greet you with after being so long away from you, but I, I have to ask it. And for Rhoda's sake and mine, you must tell me. What has Rhoda done? I don't know, but I'm afraid. We inherited. Cannot. Father? Father, you're not well. I'm all right. I won't ask any more questions. I'm sorry. I think that's better now. Let's just close the book. Only I have the answer now. I've always been a very fortunate man, Christine. I could tell you a long history of jobs that came in the nick of time, of lost money found, of friends who came to pay up old debts just when I have to have money. At every main turning point in my life, some good fairy has seemed to intervene and flip things my way. The biggest piece of luck I ever had, the luck that saved my reason and kept me going was a little girl named Christine. You were the only child I ever had. Before you, my life was futile and barren, but you were magic for me. As I said, you made life bearable. I wrote about other things, but I kept on because of you. You found me somewhere. Yes, in a very strange place in a strange way. I know the place. I don't think you could. You were less than two years old. I either remember it or I dreamed it. What kind of dream? I dream of a bedroom in a farmhouse in the countryside where there are orchards. I can hear my mother some distance away calling my name. Ingold. Ingold Denker. She... Denker. Oh, Daddy. You've concealed something from me all these years, haven't you? I came out of that terrible household. You found me there. It was the neighbors that found and saved you after your mother had vanished. Where she went, I never knew, nor did they, but she had quite a fortune by that time, and something panicked her, so she got away quickly, leaving behind one astonishingly sweet, beautiful little thing with the most enchanting smile I have ever seen. I was covering the case for the Chicago paper, and I wired my wife to join me. We couldn't resist you. Oh, Daddy. Oh, God. Help me. Why didn't you just leave me there? It was the neighbors that found and saved you. Would you rather have stayed with them? Oh, no. You know I wouldn't. You've been... A wonderful father. But that place. And that horrible woman, my mother. I... There are places and events in every man's life that he'd rather not remember. But it's past, and it doesn't hurt you. Don't let it touch you. I wish. I had died then. I wish it. I wish it. Thank, Thank you. you.